Hey guys, welcome. Emily Famosa here from Health Quest of Hunterdon, New Jersey. I'm coming to you live from my at home basement. We're gonna do a quick 30 minute HIIT workout. This is my turning curves class, so it's focused on a little bit of glutes and core. But if you wanna grab your man, anyone that's sitting around, they can do this too. It's not just for ladies, fellas can come in. They can just skip the warm up with the banded resistance band. So all that you will need, let me just show you. If you have this, it's just a little, a little uh, resistance band. If you don't, all good. You don't need it. I also have two water bottles. If you have these at your disposal, they will come in handy. Or if you have two light weights, maybe five pounds or 10 pounds, that would be good to have too. Also, we're getting creative, okay? I have two bottles of laundry detergent. If you have anything laying around, you'll need that. We have kettlebell swings. I don't have a kettlebell, so that's what I'm using. That's for later on. So if you have anything that's heavy like that, bring it along, all right? Let me see what time it is. So it's 12.29. I'm just going to give it a minute. Here we go. It's 12.30. Welcome. All right, guys. So I just did a little quick excerpt, excerpt for anyone that was on early. But if you're just joining in now, don't worry. This video is going to be saved. But my name is Emily Famosa once again. This is my Turning Curves class live. It's a 30-minute hip workout focused on a little bit of glutes and core. And hopefully you guys will get a good sweat in today from your home like I will. All right? So we're just going to get started with a little warm-up. If you have a resistance band, good. If you don't, no problem. Awesome. Okay. We're going to lay down. First move, hip bridges. So you're gonna lay down on your mat or if you're on a rug, awesome. Let's lay down. We have 30 seconds here. So as many hip bridges that you can get in in 30 seconds. All right, so let's lay down. I'm gonna start my timer. So I will be your guys' timer here. Since we're live, you guys can feed in to me. There we go. Let's get it seconds. We're going to go to 30 and you guys will just follow along. So lay down. If you have the band, put it above your knee line. It's not all good. I hope this humidifier isn't too loud. I don't think it is. All right. So above your knee line, you're going to lay back, bend your knees, hands down right at 45 degrees. And we're just going to lift our hips and squeeze your glutes. Go ahead, we got 30 seconds right here, just to warm up. I think you guys can see me. So a nice big squeeze. I'm driving through my heels, and I'm almost tucking my tailbone and lifting up to the top, okay? So if you have this light resistance band, I'm just slightly pushing out with my knees against the resistance. And with your breath, you want to breathe out as you lift up. Just like that. Almost there. Keep your shoulders back and down. Hold it up. And time. Awesome. All right, next move. Same position. We're going to do single leg. Single leg hip bridge with or without the band, your choice. We're gonna get 10 in on each leg, okay? So lay back down. Opposite leg can be bent at 90 or it can be straight. We're gonna go for 10, ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four. Remember, driving through the heel. Five, six, seven, eight. Two more, nine, 10. There we go, switch it up, other side, ready? 10, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Drive through that bottom heel. Six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, 10. 
Awesome. All right. We got two more things just to warm up our glutes. We're going to flip over onto hands and knees. We're going to go into tabletop. We're going to go for donkey kicks. That's what they're called. All right, so we're going to get 10 on each side. Ready? Here we go. Donkey kicks right here. Drive with the heel. 10, 9, 8. There we go. 7. Keep your core engaged. 6, 5, 4. Last three. Three. Two more. All right, other side right here. Switch it up. 10 on the other leg. Ready? Go. 10. Nine, drive with the heel, keep the foot flexed. Eight, seven, here we go. Six, five, four, three, two more, two, and one. All right, next move, take a small break. We're gonna go into fire hydrants. So this time the knee is still bent at 90 degrees. We're just taking it out to the side, just like the name, fire hydrant, right? as if we were a dog, but we're not. All right, we got 10 on each side. Start with your right leg. This is my right leg. Here we go. 10, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 more, 2, last one, and switch. Other side, ready? Left side, go. 10, Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! All right. We should be warm. We should be feeling our glutes. They should be engaged. I hope that they are. I hope my microphone is working good for you guys. You can always comment if it's not. But I feel like it is. All right? Take the band off for now. Next move, we're going to get into our first round, all right? First move is a squat with a press. So if you have those two water bottles that I told you about, grab these guys. Or if you have two light dumbbells, grab these guys, all right? Let me get my timer. So this move, we go for a minute. We get a small break, and then we're going to go to the next move, all right? Stopwatch is on. Grab your weights. The move looks like this, okay? We're right here. You're going to squat, and you're going to press up at the top, and I'm squeezing my glutes as I press so that my low back does not go into hyperextension, okay? All right. Two water bottles or two weights. Let's go. One minute, ready, and go. Down and press up, down and press. Right from the side, right here, I'm sitting back and then I'm pressing up all the way at the top. Use your breath, breathe out. Right here, keep going. There we go. Getting this home workout in. Keep going, squeeze the glutes as you drive up, right? Sit back into your heels, and then press everything up. Guess what, more than halfway, keep going, right here. Up, sit down, press up. Here we go. Almost there, stay with me. You guys have 10 seconds, 10. Here we go, I'm not gonna count, almost there, keep going. Brace your core, five seconds. Woo! Two, last one. One. Oh my God, we did it. All right, take a second. We have 30 seconds of rest before our next move. Our next move is going to be high knees. We're gonna do high knees, okay? So just right here, don't go yet. Still got a little bit more time to recover. Couple more seconds and then we'll go. All right, high knees, ready? Go, 30 seconds. Get everything up. Right at knee level, right? Almost there, 10 seconds are gone. Keep going, keep going. 
Get your heart rate up. Halfway, more than halfway. 10 seconds. There we go. Brace your core, sit back. Three, two, one. Time. Catch your breath. Whew. You have that water bottle, take a sip. I need it. All right, guys. Next move, we're going back to the mat. We have one push-up with four mountain climbers. Let me give you a preview before we get started, okay? Push-up can be on your knees or on your toes. If they're on your toes, it looks like this. One push-up, four mountain climbers. One push-up, four mountain climbers. Option on your knees, right here, and then you come up, one, two, three, four. Back down, come up, All right? You guys get the gist. This move is only 30 seconds, all right? So come down onto your mat, wrists directly underneath your shoulders, knees or toes, 30 seconds. Start with the push-up. Ready? And go. One push-up, four, three, two, one. Back down. Four mountain climbers, one push-up. Keep going. Here we go. Almost there, guys. Four, three, two, one. And time. Sit back. Woo. All right. That was our first round. So you got those three exercises down, right? We had the squat to press. We had high knees. And then we had one push-up with four mountain climbers. So take your break, all right? Grab a sip of water, a little bit longer to rest, and then we go back through the same three moves. All right, that's our round one. I'll give you guys 30 more seconds, and then we're going right back to the squat to press. Two light weight, or if you have it, two water bottles. It works. It works. Almost there. Here we go. 10 seconds. All right. Grab your light weights. Remember, this move is a minute. Ready? Go. Squat. Press. Really sit back into that imaginary chair, right? And then squeeze your glutes to protect your low back as you press up. Almost there. You can take it slow if you need to. Slow it down and focus on the movement. Slow and controlled still wins the race. You guys have 10 seconds. Almost there. Here we go. Three, two, last one. One, pause. Drop the weights. All right, 30 seconds of rest. High knees, 30 seconds. That's right. All right, 10 seconds right here. Catch your breath. If you need a longer break, that's okay. You can take it. Here we go. Ready? Go. High knees. Bring them up. Right from the side. Sit back. Here we go. Ten seconds are gone. Focus on contracting your core as you bring your knees up. Ten seconds to go. Five, three, two, one. Woo! All right. What do we have next? One push up with four mountain climbers, right? Yes. That's right. 
Yee. Should have brought a hair tie. All right. We're going to go right down and we're going to get this one out. We're going to kill it, okay? So set up. Knees or toes for the push up. One push up, four mountain climbers. Ready? Go. One push up, four, three, two, one. Right back down. Four, three, two, one. Keep going. Ten seconds, guys. Almost there. And time. Hold. Whew. All right. In between rounds, remember? We get a whole minute. You guys get a whole minute. So take it. We're going to move on to round two. New set of exercises, right? So this is where we need a little bit heavier weight. If you have that laundry detergent bottle laying around, grab it. If you have a small cat, small dog, your baby, you can use that, okay? I have these two. I'm not gonna use these though, because I have these weights. So the next move is a sumo squat. So with your feet a little bit wider than hip width distance apart. I'm gonna move back. Toes turned out, right? I'm gonna hold the weight down low. You're gonna push your knees out wide and then really squeeze your glutes as you come up to the top. So from the side, push the knees out. Keep the torso a little bit more upright and then squeeze your glutes at the top, okay? We have a minute with this exercise. Sumo squat, grab your heavier weight. One minute, ready, go. Down and squeeze up. Remember? Push the knees out, squeeze up to the top. We got it. Use your breath. Here we go. Focus on really squeezing your inner thigh as you come up to the top. Wider stance means we're working inner and outer thigh a little bit more. You guys are almost there. Keep going. We go right from the side. 10 seconds. And time. All right. Put your weight down. You guys have 30 seconds of rest. Next move, kettlebell swings. Laundry detergent bottle works great. That's what I'm going to use, okay? So, we're going to go back to that little bit of a wider stance with your feet. Toes pointed out. Grab the weight. If you have a backpack laying around, grab it. Whatever works. I got this. Or if you have two water bottles, grab two water bottles. What we're doing is we're swinging the weight back, and then we're squeezing your glutes as you pull through. Okay, that's the move. Kettlebell swings. 30 seconds, I'm gonna use both. 30 seconds, ready, go. Down and pull through. Swing and pull through. Using the momentum of the weight to swing back and then squeeze your glutes as you pull through. Halfway, right here. Almost there. You guys have five seconds. Five seconds. And time. Time. All right. Next move, hop squats. A little bit of plyo in here. You're going to start with your feet together. We're going to jump out into a squat, and we're going to tap the ground. So it looks like this. Hop squat. That's how it looks from the side, right here. Jumping down into a squat and tapping the ground. I'm alternating my hands. If this is too much, 
don't tap the ground, just do the move. 30 seconds, here we go. And start, jump down, pop in, jump down, pop in from the side, right here. Easy, light step, light on your feet, push your knees out, sit your hips back. There we go, almost there. 10 seconds. Keep breathing, keep moving. Almost there, and time. Whew. All right, that set is done. That's round two. All your round two exercises you just completed. All right, almost there. We get this minute rest. Take your breath. We start with those sumo squats. So you just need a heavier weight. Remember, I use the two dumbbells. You can use the two water bottles. Whatever you guys have. We have 15 seconds. Take a quick water break. Put the water down. Pick up your weight. This move is a whole minute long. So take your time. Three, two, one, go. Sumo squat, wide stance, remember? Push the knees out wide, squeeze your inner thigh. Get your outer thigh going, squeeze your glutes. Just focus on the movement and your breath. There we go, you guys keep going. Keep going, don't stop. My timer went blank. I'm watching you. You got it. Almost there. There we go. We got 15 seconds. 15 seconds to kill it. Here we go. Almost there. 10 seconds left. Right? Squeeze everything right to the top. Three, two, one. 30 seconds of rest. Take it. Take a break. You guys deserve it. 20 seconds. You guys are killing it. Hope it's not killing you too bad. All right. Pick up those weights that we have again. We're going to go into the kettlebell swings. All right. This is our last round of lower body focus. Now we're going to move right into abs. Grab the two weights. Kettlebell swings. Go. Sit back and drive. Remember, use the momentum of the weight that you're holding. Sit back and pull through. Halfway, right here. 10 seconds. Six, five, there we go. Four, three, two, last one. One, and time. 30 seconds of rest. Pop squats are next. Pop squats, okay? You remember those, right? You jump out into a squat, tap the ground. 10 seconds here. Woo, woo. All right. Last five. Here we go. Three, two, one. Pop squat. Jump out and tap. Jump out and tap. Switch. Sit back into the squat. Keep light on your feet. You should be jumping off your toes, right? As you hop together, keep going. Almost there. 10 seconds, right here, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two more. Two, last one, one. All right, guys, minute reps. All new, all new round. Core focus. Core focus. Woo. First move. We're going to lie on your mat. We're going to incorporate a tricep extension with bicycles. So how that looks. Let me see which way I should lay. 
this way. All right. If you have a water bottle, right, use it. If you don't have the dumbbell, you're going to start with your arms directly over your shoulders, knees bent at 90 degrees. You're going to drop into a tricep extension as you point your feet straight out. So you're alternating your feet as you go into the tricep extension. So we're working back of the arms, right? That's your first move. Let's lay down. Grab your weight. If you have it, knees over your hips. We got 30 seconds, ready? And go. Tricep extension with the leg drop. Try to keep your low back down and just bend right from your elbows, squeezing the back of your arm as you extend straight. There we go. Breathe. Almost there, you guys have five seconds. Really try to feel this movement. Focus on back of the arm. Two, last one, and hold. Woo! All right, next move, we're gonna go into a plank. So this is a little bit of a challenge. So listen for my other options, okay? I have a plank with a row, but if the row is too difficult, you can either do it on your knees or you don't have to do the row at all. So the hardest option, you come up into a plank right here, your weight is under one arm to start. We're just gonna go into a plank with a row. How it looks on the knees. Knees are behind your hips, right? They're not right underneath, they're behind. And then same move, keep everything square and we're going into the row. We have 30 seconds on each side. Start with your right hand, or whichever one you feel comfortable with. Ready? Go. Row. Keep your hips square. Keep your shoulders square. Option right here. If you need it, you guys have 10 seconds. Five, two, one, time. Take a little bit of a rest. That one's challenging, I know. But remember, take the option that feels good for you. On your knees, or you can just hold the plank for the whole time. You can just hold it and focus on your core engagement. Other arm, okay? So move the weight over. We're gonna set up our plank on your toes or on your knees. 30 seconds on the other side, here we go. And go, row it up. You guys got 10 seconds, option. If you need it, five, three, two, one, time. Woo. All right, we have one more move in this round, okay? We have a figure eight. You're gonna grab a lightweight. I have a 10 pound dumbbell, it might be a little too heavy. So this is where I'm gonna switch to my water bottle. Or if I just have a light object laying around. We're gonna go into a seated position on your mat. Knees are gonna be bent. You're gonna to try to balance the knees up and we're gonna figure eight the water bottle. You're weaving it through. All right, so this is core stabilization, right? You wanna stay activated. Other option, if it is too hard for you to balance, keep your feet flat, use the light weight and you guys can go into just Russian twist. All right, your choice. I'm gonna do the figure eight. We have 30 seconds. Ready? And go. So I'm weaving it through, just like a figure eight. I'm keeping my core engaged, definitely my upper abs engaged, and my lower core by stabilizing my legs. 
You guys are halfway. Keep going. Almost there. Less than 10 seconds. You guys have five. And time. Woo! All right, guess what? That round, one more time. Just one more time. And then you guys are done. It's going by so quick. I know. So our first move that we started with. We had the tricep extension with the alternating leg lowers. So grab your light weight or your water bottle. You're gonna lay down on your back. We have 30 seconds here, okay? 30 seconds, nothing crazy. Lay down on your back. Arms extend straight right over your shoulders. Knees over hips. Drop one leg and go into your tricep extension. Working the back of the arms and the core at the same time. We're hitting everything today. So stay engaged, keep the low back down, and use your breath. Remember, you're just bending from the elbow. And time. That was quick. All right, next move. We're gonna get the back engaged, right? We're gonna go into our plank with our row. So option is on the toes or on your knees, whichever you feel comfortable with. You only have 30 seconds on each side, so just make sure you're really feeling the movement right here in the lats. It's almost like a scooping motion, right? All right, let's get set up. Start with the right arm, knees or toes, and go. 30 seconds. We got this. Keep your core straight, hip square. Almost there, you guys have. 10 seconds. Five. Here we go. Three. And time. Oh. All right, other side. Switch it over to the left arm. One more time with this move. 30 seconds. We're gonna go right into it. So, set yourself up. Plank on your toes or on your knees. Ready? And row, go. Almost there, stay strong. Stay in this. Ten seconds. Five. Time. Woo. Last move to finish us off. I hope you guys stayed through the whole workout. We only have one more thing. We have our figure eight. Lightweight here. Water bottle. Whatever you have that's less than 10 pounds would be awesome. We're going to set up seated position. We have 30 seconds to finish. Let's finish this strong. Ready? Sit back and go. Figure eight right here. I'm weaving it through. I'm making the number eight with the water bottle through my legs. We got it. Look at that. We're almost there. You guys have 10 seconds. Five. And time. Woo! And done. All right, you guys killed it. Awesome job. I thank you guys so much. If you tuned in today, thank you guys for staying connected. Of course, as always, we miss you during this period, but we hope that you guys stay active. I do have a challenge for you if you made it through the end of the video. From my Turning Curves class, it's inspired. I want you guys to try to complete 100 squats by the end of the week. If you do that, awesome job. Let us know on your Instagram, tag your fit, and show us your progress. Show us doing some squats each day, whether it's 20 a day, make it by Friday, 
by doing 100 squats this week. All right. Once again, thank you guys. My name is Emily Famosa, and this was Turning Curves, my 30-minute HIIT workout. I hope you guys liked it.